No, you. You complete me. You're garbage. You kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. They need you right now. But when they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. You see, their morals, their code, it's a bad joke. I was looking at doing this video all wrong. I was trying to make it fancy. I was trying to make it a scripted video essay. I was trying to put a bunch of edits into it and just really make it one of my best videos I've ever made. But to be honest, that's not right. That's not me. That's not how my feelings are about this film. I, I can't script them. I can't explain them in a professional manner. And yeah, I, I, I can't do that. I'm just going to be speaking from my heart in this video. I can't do the old video idea anymore. I need to do this from the bottom of my heart to explain why I love this trilogy so much. And I might cry. It's going to get wild. So uh, let's just get into this. Batman Begins is the first in the trilogy, and it's amazing. Uh, sometimes I think it's better than The Dark Knight, but I just love this film so much. So, um, yeah, it's a great film, though. I, I just, here's the thing. Um, the Dark Knight, once we'll get into that section of this video, um, we'll talk about why I just love it more than Batman Begins, but Batman Begins is definitely a close second for me, and I think everyone mostly feels the same way. When I watch this movie, I just get, like... Ugh, like I get energized, I get hyped, and the feeling I feel when watching the Dark Knight trilogy is just epicness, just happiness, just I, 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 I just get this feeling where I feel unstoppable almost. Like I get so motivated, I feel powerful watching these films, and I feel like nothing can ruin that when I'm watching these movies. And Batman Begins makes me feel that it gets Batman right. It shows. Everything he goes through to become Batman, to become the protector and guardian of Gotham. And it just, it's such an interesting journey. I don't even get me started with Molasses. You can probably hear it in the background right now. Ah, just listen to that for a second. It's, it's an amazing theme. And it's one of the best movie themes ever. And it's my favorite. And it just, it's... It, it hits you right there in the feels, and when you, when you hear it, it's just like you know Batman is going to come and just beat the shit out of someone or just show up and save the day, and he just, it's epic and badass, and it, it's amazing, and I, I love it, and it just, it makes me feel that everything is okay almost, and it really just... And I know this sounds weird, but it just, like, nurtures me. It's just a great sound. <laughs> and this movie just fills you up, makes you feel strong. And um, that's what I love about it. Hear the Joker theme. Hear that theme. Jesus. That opening scene with the bank robbers, uh, and they're robbing the bank, and they all have the mask. And Joker, you don't know it's the Joker at first. He has the mask on. That's amazing. Uh, it's probably one of the best scenes uh, ever in movie history. It is one of the best uh, scenes in movie history. And there's so many of those in this film. And honestly, just throughout the Dark Knight trilogy. But the Dark Knight is so special to me. I remember um, one day it was just on TV. And, and I didn't really know what it was. I knew about Batman. But I was just like, huh, what's going on here? And I saw these clowns. And I was like, whoa, is that the Joker? Like, what's going on? I didn't really know anything about Batman. And... Then I saw the bat signal, and I was like, whoa, this is like Batman. There's like a pretty cool-looking Batman movie here. And I just sat and watched the rest of the movie, and I, I, I just, I loved it. And I became obsessed with it ever since, and I watched the entire trilogy. I, I was just so amazed by this fa this movie and, and, and these movies in general, and and I just, I felt like I found something incredible, and I did and I just, I, I, I didn't stop watching these movies. 
I kept watching them and I never stopped and I just I was captivated by everything um and especially in the dark knight with the joker um as being the best villain of anything ever ever he is the best villain in pop culture period better than darth vader you know he's he's the best okay heath ledger's performance i mean I, do i really need to say it this is just it's an amazing thing to witness it's so crazy you guys saw the clip i i played at the beginning you know to them you're just a freak like me uh oh my god it's just amazing to see batman and joker's interactions and i just love it this this vibe of this film is completely different from batman begins it doesn't feel as heroic as batman begins felt um but at the same time it did and batman learns new stuff in this episode uh, episode in this movie and it's just like it, it it shows that Batman's growing as a character and everything that happens with Rachel and stuff and just makes him go through a bunch of crazy emotions and the villains in this is just, uh, it's all amazing with Two-Face and whatnot. And like I said, the acting, the Joker th score, um, it's amazing. And I really love this movie and it'll never change from being my favorite movie of all time. The Dark Knight Rises is an, in, is an interesting one in this trilogy. I mean, obviously it's the weakest. Um, it's, it's, it's very slow at parts, too. But the exciting parts are, are really great. And this movie, I don't focus that much in the Dark Knight trilogy. I really focus on Batman Begins and the Dark Knight as, like, the bulk of this trilogy. And, I yeah, that's two to three, so two out of the three movies. It is the bulk, I guess, if you want to put it that way. But I don't hate this movie, and it's my third favorite movie of all time. I love it, okay? It's a great movie. It's so awesome. But it just does feel a bit different from the beginning, or from Batman Begins and the Dark Knight. It's weirdly paced, um, which is another thing. But I love this movie. And there's so much just ties to the original of to Batman Begins. And, you know, like little stuff. Like when you hear... The little choir boy uh, in the background uh, when Bruce Wayne's parents die and Batman begins. In, and then when Batman is about to die in this movie, you hear the same choir boy in the background when Batman's carrying the bomb out of the city. And that's just like little shit like that just is amazing to me. And this, the trilogy is just, it's so complete. It comes to a full closure. Even if Nolan did leave it technically open-ended, it still feels like it had an ending, and it still feels like there's hope left um, in Gotham, and Batman did what he intended to do, and it's just crazy. If you watch these movies back to back to back, it's a strange feeling, and mainly because you spent nine hours of your life watching these movies, um, but it's just a weird feeling afterward, because you like understand and you see every detail that goes into these movies, and man, it's, it's, it's amazing. Which I know I've said a lot in this video, but like I said, I'm speaking from the heart. No script. I didn't care how how this this video was edited. I, I I realized that, and I just need to get my point out with this movie trilogy, and to show that this movie trilogy is better than anything. It's the best form of pop culture ever. Um, well, that's not true. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like Walking Dead more, if I'm being honest, but then Dark Knight. Um, <laughs> Dark Knight is just, I don't know, man. It's something very special, and I need people to know that it's special, okay? We will never see a movie like anything from the Dark Knight trilogy, including Dark Knight Rises. And yes, I know that's the most hated one, but it's still an amazing film. And it's just, people need to know that this was it for superheroes, for superhero genre. The MCU can suck it compared to this, this movie trilogy. It can. The MCU is nothing compared to this movie. Even Infinity War, even Civil War, nothing comes close to the Dark Knight trilogy. And that is my opinion with these films and the vibes. I, I it's, it's truly some of the only movies I can watch and not get bored. Every single time I watch these movies, I am 
captivated. Like, it was on before I was going to sleep a couple days ago, The Dark Knight. And I just sat there for a solid 30 minutes watching it. And then I looked over at the clock. Oh, it's 1 a.m. I have to go to sleep. And that's just crazy shit like that with these movies. And it makes me so sad that these are over. But at the same time, I'm happy that it happened. And everything about these characters, the actors, Christian Bale, Heath Ledger, um, them especially, um... I don't know. I just... I love these movies. And that's why... uh, Music, characters, actors, vibe, directing by Nolan. It's a great movie. Trilogy. And... I love it. 